Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday the 11th of April. I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. Uh, this evening we are celebrating um, the first Bishop of New Zealand who was George Augustus Selwyn. So a bit of information about George Augustus Selwyn. George Augustus Selwyn was born in 1809, educated at Cambridge and ordained as curate of Windsor. In 1841, he was made the first Bishop of New Zealand and remained there for 27 years, during the first years travelling when few roads or bridges existed. In the wars between colonists and Maoris, he stood out heroically for Maori rights, at the cost of fierce attacks from both sides and grave personal danger in his efforts to part the warriors. Until later, he was revered as one of the founders of New Zealand, as well as of its church. He taught himself to navigate and gathered congregations in the Melanesian islands. His constitution for the New Zealand church influenced the churches of the Anglican Communion, and he was a chief founder of the Lambeth Conferences of Bishops. In 1868, he was persuaded to become the Bishop of Lichfield in England and died there on this day in 1878. So that's a bit of information about George Selwyn. Now let us take a moment of quiet as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way. The words you see in bold are for you to join in with should you wish to do so. Otherwise, just listen and enjoy. And there we have a painting of George Augustus Selwyn, whom we commemorate today. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We take a moment of silent silence as we reflect on the past day, bring all our thoughts and concerns to the risen Christ. We say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And we listen to Hildegard of Bingen. Te Lucius Ante Terminum.
Uh, psalm this evening is Psalm 104, verse 1, then 21 to 33. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be like night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you <coughs> send forth your spirit, <coughs> they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from Revelation, chapter 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me. As the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, the Lord is risen, alleluia, as he promised to you. Alleluia, alleluia. And we listen to the Nunc Dimittis. <clears throat>
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. As disciples who know that Christ is risen, let us pray for the church and for the world. As your church rejoices this day in the resurrection of her Lord and Saviour, may her worship be reverent and her proclamation faithful. May every Christian soul respond in faith to the call of the Master and make haste to tell the good news. Let the Easter hope be known in all the world. Give light to those who seek, assurance to those who doubt, and peace to all. May Christ be known as the only Lord, the only hope of the nations. Be with our families and friends and all who share with us the wonderful day of resurrection. May the presence of Christ bring us close to those who are separated from us in the knowledge that no distance can part us from his love. Have mercy on those who stand at the open door of faith, but are held back by doubt or fear of their unworthiness. Draw them in, that they may begin the new life that Christ has brought. Help and comfort for those whom suffering and sorrow mar the happiness of this day. We lift to you, Lord, all those who have asked for our prayers at this time. We pray for those who, having shared with Christ the death of the body, now share with him the eternal life of his resurrection. Praying especially for Michael Layasami, Lillian Hunt, Richard Heath and Mary Turner. May the promise that has been fulfilled in them be our hope in this world and our place in the world to come. We pray in the name of Christ, who conquered death, that we might live forever. Amen. And the collect, <clears throat> firstly the Easter collect, Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour and glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. And the collect for George Augustus Selwyn. Jesus, incarnate God, good news for all who have ears to hear and eyes to see. We thank you for George Augustus Selwyn and for all who bring the gospel to New Zealand and Melanesia. Raise up in this and every land heralds and evangelists of your kingdom and hasten the time when the earth is filled with your glory. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, God, forever. Amen. As we come to the ending of the day and rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, 
so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday evening. I wish you all a happy Easter and also a peaceful, quiet and safe night and look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, God bless. Take care.